get. As loud as I can get. <laughs> Hi. Better than me. Hi. <laughs> well, um, I'm a lecture official. My daughter, Mariel Fischel Rich, is a student in Kita Hay. Wave your hand, Mariel. Mariel, wave Yay. your hand. Yay. <laughs> um, and I was just asked to talk a little bit about this community effort, which is um, <laughs> being promoted by a lot of groups hand in hand, J. Fred, Pelote is involved. And what it is, is really about making a commitment to how you're going to work with and treat the people who work in your home. And I'm an employment lawyer by background, so I'm pretty aware of what all the legal requirements are, and hopefully most of you are too, and there are legal requirements, how you treat the people that work in your home. But this covenant or pledge, and you can find out a lot more by going to the back table, is about making like a commitment to really think about how you're going to treat the people that work in your home. And many of us have child care providers. And what I think is really amazing about this covenant is even though I'm pretty aware of what the laws are, is that like our society and our community does not really have a way for us to talk about how we want to treat folks, how we have a mutual sense of respect, how we can really aspire to do more than just the bare minimum wage. And so I was just, you know, my, my commitment to it is that I think care in the home is really a, a women's rights issue, a gender issue. I think a lot of us, you know, embrace civil rights outside of the home. I think we need to pay attention to how we treat our home healthcare workers, child care, people who might clean in our home or work with our parents or elders. And we invite you to come and, you know, learn more about it because it's pretty, it's a significant, important issue. And this community, I think, already is mostly there and embracing it. So, thank you.